so starting with this 20 millimeter uh, rubber strap this was pretty pricey it was twenty dollars but let's see if i get this open but the clasp was pretty unique here not quite sure what watch i'll put it on but make sure to follow me on instagram where i'll be posting uh wrist shots when i actually do put it on a watch it's actually really soft but the the clasp is actually pretty unique here so not bad i'm actually pretty impressed by it so a couple items that are not watch related but do get an honorable mention uh, this is a dr pepper diversion safe can so you just gotta unscrew it you can't really store any watches inside but you can kind of store your rolled up watch fund in there a couple you know, a few thousand dollars in there for the next omega purchase so this here is a uh, key organizer or a key pocket organizer kind of clip your keys here keep everything nice and organized it feels really good quality you got a little pocket here another back pocket here to store things this was i think like ten dollars or nine dollars next is this uh paula reese um no time to die homage watch came with an extra strap I always wanted to try a watch from this brand. So Paula Reese makes these really, really like bottom of the barrel, super affordable homage watches. Uh, this was $25. Uh, see the strap here. Kind of a thick strap, but um, this one had 727 orders and like 4.6 stars. Not bad. I mean, I'm definitely gonna make a comparison video for this and the Paula, uh, the Felita, no time to die, homage watch I have, but I don't know. It's you, I mean you definitely know it's twenty five dollars here. Sorry about the glare. There we go. So yeah, let me try that on the wrist. All right, guys, here it is on the wrist. I'm super, super impressed by it. The clasp is really nice as well. I'm not really a fan of mesh bracelets, but this would be my first one. Um, I don't know. It's not too bad. It's definitely a thick boy. Um, but imagine it's 20 millimeters and I put the other strap I just got on it. Uh, but for $25, I think this is a nice entry level way to kind of feel out that no time to die style before committing to kind of like a him dollar or a Felita. And you get the additional strap so I I'm pretty happy with this one so next up is the Kickstarter watch by UW it's a diver watch inspired by jellyfish I think I paid like 245 for this and you know I kind of like that's the reason I go on Kickstarter is kind of like back these unique watches Let's see what is this a okay, bracelet sizer mini torch so i guess it's a flashlight oh cool oh for the the loom okay definitely gonna be trying that and posting a photo later underwater wow it's a very nice uh watch roll Ooh, nice colors in there and here it is guys uw Ooh. Ooh, it's a very, very heavy watch, but very cool clasp. Very solid. Wow, let's see this on the wrist. Oh, wow. Let's see if I can peel this off. Ooh, this is nice. This this might be my new uh, daily wearer. The loom should be pretty pretty nice on this. We got a little bit of loom on the crown as well. 
Wow, what a good Kickstarter watch. The bracelet's nice as well. Oh man, I'm looking forward to getting this one, to sizing this one here. Look at all that loom, loom on the crown. Wow, they knocked it out of the park with this. Wow, anything else that they include? Anything else? No, thought they would include like a rubber strap, but hey, this one has an interesting uh, kind of lugs there. Oh, I'm sure I could find something to make it work. I mean, the bracelet itself is super, super nice. I mean, I again for two hundred forty-five dollars, this this watch is definitely, definitely, definitely nice. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Uh, believe it or not, this actually comes from Invicta. It is a uh, watch stand, black with black marble. Invincible in detail. Okay. All right, Invicta. Okay, so we got this. Okay, I'm gonna set this up and uh, post everything after I finish setting everything up. I guess this is. The base plate, wow, very thick uh, plate. So I guess kind of goes like this. Let me see if I can rotate the camera. Kind of like something like this, and you could kind of like rest your watch up on there. But I will post a photo of that once I'm done assembling it. All right, guys. Lastly, and it's quite possibly the most anticipated San Martin release of 2021 it is the i'll show you right now i think this is like 3d printed but it is the san martin tudor black bay chronograph homage wow it is it's insane i mean it it's hard to tell on camera but in person it's just like the sizing is so nice Where's my, um, here it is next to my turtle. I don't know, the sizing, it just feels so right. Beautiful San Martin clasp. And very, very nice tapering. Oh, man, this is nice. But, yeah, guys, um, <laughs> that's pretty much it, I think. I think it's an insane haul. Um, very, very good selection of new arrivals. I mean, look at these. Look at these three. Uh, let me know down in the comments what your what video review you're most looking forward to. I don't know. I don't know if it's the UW Kickstarter watch or the Tudor or the Apollo Reese. I mean, the Paula Reese is nice because it'd be the first one kind of like in my collection. And it's probably the most affordable. It's like the cheapest watch I would. <laughs> Other than the Casio, I mean. Oh, and the Pin Time as well. You can go check that video out. It's one of the first videos I ever made on this channel. But all right, guys. That's it. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.